Okay, so we are going to use the diamond method when we factor um, ax squared plus bx plus c, especially if there is a coefficient other than one for a, okay? So the diamond method works like this. On the top space, we do a times c. On the bottom space, we just write the b, okay? And then on the two sides, we make a ratio. And the top part of the ratio is a and then x. So whatever um, a is, that, that number, you put it there with an x, okay, a, x. And then the bottom part of this ratio, um, we have to find factors of the top that will lead to the sum of the bottom, okay? So um, I'm going to write factor, um, sum, factors and sum, okay? And it'll make sense to you in just a minute factors and sum. Okay, so this is the template for the diamond method and I'm going to show you how to use it right now. Okay, so now we're going to factor 12x squared minus 4x minus 5 using this diamond method. All right, so let me make my template. Okay, the top section is for a times c. So 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. All right, the bottom section is for whatever b is, and b is negative 4, okay? And then on the sides, okay, ax, I'm going to make a ratio um, that has ax. So a is 12, so just 12x, and then 12x also on this side. And then we have to find the factors of negative 60 that lead us to negative four, all right? So um, since this is negative, we're gonna have to subtract these factors to get to a negative four, all right? So let's um, make a list of factors for negative 60. Okay, so here are the factors of negative 60, and the one that's gonna lead us to a four, because we have to subtract them, because it's negative, is gonna be this one right here. So this is the sum and difference that I'm looking for, okay? Um, the factors and sum, I meant. So I'm gonna put a six here and a 10 over there. And I know that it needs to lead to negative four, so the negative is gonna be at the 10 and then the six is gonna be positive, okay? So now that I've got my ratios, so here are the ratios, I have to simplify them, okay? So that's important, simplify the ratio. So if they have any common factors, I need to, I need to reduce it. So this has a common factor of six. So this is gonna be two, this is gonna be one. This has a common factor of two. So this is going to be um, six, and this is going to be five. So my reduced ratios are two x, over one, and this one is gonna be six x over negative five. Okay, so this is the parts that are really important once you reduce those ratios, because this is my binomial, and here we go. Two x plus one times six x minus five. All right, so that is my answer, and if you want to double check, then you would, um, multiply them back together. So I'll, I'll do that real quick just to prove to you that I've done it correctly. All right, so here we go. Um, 2x times uh, 6x is 12x squared. All right, 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. 1 times 6x is positive 6x. And 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. I reduce that. I mean, um, simplify it. Negative 6 plus, uh, negative 10 plus 6 is negative 4x, and this is negative 5. So this, as you can see, leads back to that. So then I have done my work correctly.